Why, thank you. Signs off. Rumors too about my rejoicing. <laughs> we feed uh, Charlie in the other room to avoid that. Okay, Dick, go ahead. Um, have fun. I have to run to the little boys' room really quick. Okay, very good. Uh, empty pockets. What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One is really heavy, and the other one is a little lighter. Uh, uh, uh. So, empty pockets, do you make these up, or do they come from a book? Um. Okay. Oh, that's so funny. I'm getting two different. Oh, okay. Uh, what's happening? So chat room, you see me, right? Let me look at my other monitor. Oh, you do see me. Uh, okay. I can get in my truck, drive all day and never get off my property. Wow. I see someone in <laughs> someone impersonating you. Yeah, okay. Uh no, on my monitor I just saw me in the corner and Leo and, and Micah talking about a camera. But I just looked over at what is usually the computer in front of Myra. And indeed I am here. I do wear a smart watch. Uh, 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 and let me just I like this because I was able to put my logo on it. Uh, and I have one of those magnetic bands, which I like, except every once in a while, you'll suddenly find paper clips or something attached to it. Uh, uh, uh. Um, you can see my, oh, I, oh, it, it blows out in the light, but it's my logo. There it is on my watch face. And then the magnetic band, you know, anybody use one of these? You just slide it to whatever you want and then click it together with the, the magnet just closes it. But everyone, <laughs> it snaps onto something that you're near. Uh, da -bum. Does it link with your Android? You know what? I don't link it to... I uh, I just link it to to uh, update the time because it's every once in a while, like once a month, by the end end of a month or maybe even two weeks, it's almost a minute ahead, and I just adjust it with the Samsung app. But this watch is so old that the app is outdated and on another old on the galaxy five okay and i keep the galaxy five here only to update the time on this watch because they're connected what i do love about this watch i guess all smart watches have this is a little microphone feature where you can make five minute notes and then when you come back there on your computer type you know uh, typed out so it's great because when I come up with an idea, sometimes I don't have pencil and paper or I'm walking through the park with Charlie. I just hit that record, you know, why don't I do a match game question about this or for the chat room? Why don't we do that? <laughs> Dickie D is the real Dick Tracy. Oh, you know, I had a thought and I'll ask it here while we're, uh, does anybody want to participate um, by doing a job, which I think would be fun? If the chat room came up with questions for a poll, is there someone in the chat room who would post it, get the answers, and send me the answers? And, you know, we do those poll questions, you know, like like we would say, do you have a pet? Yes or no. And then we can make a question out of that. Out of 90 people in the chat room, how many of them have a pet? Um, out of 90 in the chat room, how many own an electric car? 
So if someone is interested in that, at some point in a show, you can all pitch questions. And then we'll pick a dozen of those questions. And then if someone could make a poll and put it on a website somewhere where the chat room can go and vote, that would be great. Sometimes I am disappointed that no one wants to participate in anything. No one wants to send in a video. I remember Joy said, I have an idea, but if we suggest it, you'll be overwhelmed with emails. Mm, okay, I'm back at so. starting setup. Okay, very good. Um, well, you know, I don't want to give Chad any more to do since it has nothing to do with the Gizwa show. Uh, Make a Google poll. Okay. And for BFR, that sounds good. We turn on the show. Empty Pocket says, if we turn the show on, what more do you want? Participation. Um, what's it pay? Yeah. It pays double what I get paid. Okay. What was the one AAA used? We just need some questions. Yeah. All right. Well, while he's setting up, N4, um, do you have a pet? Okay, chat room, uh, some questions for the poll. Just just put, fire out some questions. Okay. Do you own, how many people in the chat room rent their space? That's a poll question. Um. All right, let's do that. Favorite drink in the morning, coffee or tea? We'll play for what percentage picked coffee. We could do Coca Pepsi. Oh, there you go. What's your most used gadget is excellent. What's your most used gadget? And if then there are too many answers, we will pick the top three, and then we'll say we played for the top three gadgets. And out of 90 people who answered, what was the third gadget on this list? That'd be a great poll question. Um, how many TV, how many TVs do you own? That could be a poll question. <laughs> okay, great. N4. I'm, I'm abbreviating it to N4. N4, this is great. N4 is actually writing these down. Dick, I have to step oh, this away is really quick to get to load uh, George's photos. Be right back. That's good. No problem. Dwindle, that's a great question. How many streaming services do you subscribe to? N, uh, N4, that's a great question. If you can put that on the list. Um, <laughs> uh, let's, 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 let's put it on, let's put it on the list. If you come back as an animal, what do you want to be? We can even open it from cat to dog. If you come back as an animal, what do you want to be? If people only answer dog or cat, then we'll change the question to, we asked, However many people answer the poll, we asked 90 people, what percentage of them wanted to be a dog? Oh, that's funny. Craig, how many Twitch shows do you watch in a week? That's a great question. Oh, a gr uh, Loke has a great question. Do you believe in reincarnation? That's even better. Um. Uh, 
Favorite kind of pizza? Let's play that. That's good. Couple more. I think we have enough. This would be great. Now the question is, and for you know how to make a poll and where to put it so people can play it. Uh, Gizfiz is not considered a Twitch show, I guess. Oh yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, you could say you want. Yeah, count this as one. Twitch fans watch it. And for people is suggesting strawpoll.com. <laughs> well, I love the chat room. Never added their minds. Redacted. What month poll would you want to dance around? I guess that should be other than May. Um also says, what gives this is the only true Twitch show. Oh, this is great. And four, this is just super. Oh, let's ask. How many minutes a day? Uh, you know, uh, let's make the question. Do you exercise on a daily basis as a question. Okay. And then we can be down in the zero to 2% category, maybe more. Who knows? I have no idea. This would be, this would be a great way. Oh, do you go to an office? Do you go to an office for your work? If you were offered to never go to the office again, but work from home, would you? And then that's a great poll, uh, a, a great question to play with the chat room. Out of <clears throat> however many people answered, how many people who do work said that they would stay home forever if they could work from home at their job? That's a great question. Almost ready. Uh, okay. Um, do you believe no question is stupid? I have 14 questions so far. This is great. Let's see if we can get to 20. Um, do you prefer working indoors or outdoors? That's a question right there. Do you prefer working indoors or outdoors? Um, What's the most you would spend on a new smartphone? Uh, oh, you know what? About how many movies do you watch a week? Okay, about how many movies do you watch a week? All right, we're up to 16 questions. And when Burke is ready, we'll just stop, and that'll be how many there are on the poll. Almost there. And then, uh, and fourth, you can tell us how to, and I will answer these, I will do the poll also. Uh, well, no, don't answer here. Oh uh, well, well, you can we can ask that question. Toilet paper. Do you does your roll go over or under? Actually, that's a that's over. a really fun question. Toilet paper roll over. Well, we're not. Oh, you'll have to fill out the poll. That is an invalid answer. <laughs> that answer does not count. It's not officially the poll. Um. Uh, let's see. Um, how many times a week do you drink alcohol? 
How many times a week do you have an alcoholic drink? We up to 18 and four. I think I'm ready to begin. Oh, okay. Okay. Hang on one second. Let me just take a sip of soda while you do it. I have started the recordings. Um, this is the Gizfiz episode uh, 493. Today is September 17, 2022. And we're about to begin in three. Oh, wait. Two. One. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for. It's the Giz Fizz with the Giz Whiz. It's kind of like Cheese Whiz. It's the Giz Fizz. And now your host, Matt Mattis Ryder and the Giz Whiz, Dick DiBartolo. Welcome to regular old-fashioned Giz Fizz. <laughs> Whoa, the harp ladies are on it today. And now the crowd's together gathering around the microphone. And I'm lifting my finger to pick which one of them is going to be chat room celebrity of the week. Wow. Not even the cricket showed up. Um, okay. Oh, <laughs> We have no crickets. We have no, not even crickets today. Oh, there they are. All right. They were, we had to open the window. They were right, right outside. All right. We hear you. All right. Now we do have, thank God for George Davis. We have photos and let me look down here. We have facts about our United States. Uh, so this is good. We're going to do photos that George supplies and captions that you supply, starting with photo number one. Okay. It's artwork with a blank sign on a lawn. Okay. Flowers, grass, and a blank sign. And you have to make up a caption for that. This is an artist's rendering. Uh, uh, paint by numbers. Your ad goes here. Mother Nature's dry erase board. Kids for sale. The Gizwiz happy place. Just space for rent. Flower power children. Name card. Get off my lawn. Take one, leave one. Bob Ross's first studio. Your message printed here. Don't pick the daisies. What does Bugs Bunny have to advertise? Filling in a caption, caption. Do you mind plastering yourselves on me? Your smile goes here. Greetings. Get off my lawn. This page is intentionally left blank. It's not polite to wipe out Mother Nature. Sad facts not accepted. This is called painter's block. Flash animation no longer supported. Oh, that's funny. Put your poll, put your poll question here. Welcome to New York. Population zero. A paint in the grass. Large flowers at a drive-in movie. Little puffy clouds. It used to say, don't erase me. Oh, that's clever. Bob Ross taking a bathroom break. I think I ate the wrong type of mushroom. Uh, cabinet grass. The psychiatrist is in five cents. Guess what the sign is, and we'll end with here's a sign. You decide what to put on it. Uh, and George says, Oh, okay. George says, For the blank electronics sign sticking up in the grass, my caption is, Whatever we have something, whenever we have something for sale. We power up our board and put a message on it. 
Uh, okay, photo number two. Uh, two kids on the beach. One is on an inflated horsey, I guess. Um, and they're looking at something. Two kids playing on sand in the beach. And the boy seems to be on an inflatable horse, which you can take into consideration or not. Uh, mm -mm. Let's see what we have here. Oh, my God, I found Jimmy Hoffa. Let's dig our way to Canada, uh, to China. It's amazing how quickly uh, farts blow up floats. Uh, um, what does FU mean? Hey, look, a picture of a blank sign in the grass. Vile photo. You sank my sandcastle. Hey, where'd this oil slick come from? The rubber animal posse. They just found Jimmy Hoffa. And this is how babies are made. Is this shrimp or tuna? There's a crab. Let the kids play near the oil spill. It'll be fine. Play find a treasure by hand. Mommy isn't breathing since we buried her. Hold them down while I call for a backup. Why is writer misspelled as writer in Mad Magazine's intro? What? Look, I found a syringe. I've struck oil. What are these folders? Watch out, Tex. He's a mean one. If we sit on these things, can we make sandcastles bigger? Back on the saddle again. Poll question. Beecher Mountains. Look, it's a treasure map. A sand dollar. Playing you sank my battleship with real ships. Ship, real ships in the background there. Look, I found the watch. Look, Mom, you got to see this. It's a turtle. You get it. And we'll end with the sister ships of the Exxon Valdez are in the background. Okay, George says, for two kids playing on the beach, my caption is, I'm going to grab this $20 bill before it gets buried in the sand. Don't worry, Jimmy, I'll share it with you. Oh, the girl found the money and is sharing it. Okay, that girl is not named Myra. <laughs> well, $20, she might share. It's not edible. Uh, okay, photo three. Photo three is, okay, a little girl at a red, white, and blue stand. Um, no signs. We have no idea what she's doing there. A uh, little girl at a stand, red, white, and blue. With bunting, she's in red, white, and blue. But we don't know what she might be selling or doing. You can buy Jelly Bellies at $20, Voting Rights Act. Wow, dig. Uh, uh, kisses free, drumming up votes, vote. Uh, Patriot Kissing Booth, the psychiatrist is in, wishing for a parade. Dreaming of becoming president one day, the doctor's in, pay your taxes here. Lucy Advice Booth from Peanuts, vote for me, looking for votes. I'm for the no homework candidate, kisses a buck. I think they need to be older to register to vote. What should I sell besides lemonade? No one wants to buy my extreme political agenda. Oh, my God. Waiting for the new poll question. Kissing Booths are getting younger and younger. What did Leo and you guys decide about the air-gapped LED internet? Sounds like baloney to me. And we'll end with N4BFR, Lucy Van Pelt for the 2020s. Uh, okay, George said, for a young girl working at a patriotic podium. Wow. Caption is, I'm selling hugs for $5. And I'm going to give our money to the veterans who give so much for all of us. Wow. Um, okay. Photo number four is photo four is a blue cabin, a blue wooden cabin. And behind it is a brick house. 
Okay, blue wooden cabin in the foreground and a brick house in the background. So I'm not sure what you will do with this. Uh, it's sinking fast, house in the middle. World's first communal outhouse, house in the middle. Aha, it has handrails. Quick paint it white before the bombs fall. Tinderbox house. Oh, the outhouse was upgraded. Down it, I said painted it black. NASA data center, complete with fence on the roof, even. Oh, it does have a fence on the roof. Uh, three little pigs repaired. No, I hate mowing the lawn. Very fancy outhouse, little house in the garden, fire trap, Dick's upstate getaway. My house has the blues. At least they kept the walls paint job. Oh, no, no one wants to be chat room celebrity of the week. Duct tape, the perfect siding. <laughs> um, time to restrain this house. Got to mow the roof again. The place dad tells me he was born before he walked up the hill to school in the snow. Smurf birthplace for sale. Myra's retirement villa. Little blue hut on the prairie. You're right. No one ever painted a log cabin. Little house in the the house in the middle. Newest Nevada brothel. My pillow corporate offices, and we'll end with Eric Duckman. The house of blues. Okay, George said. Um. Uh, I don't know. I guess this picture got cropped or something. George said, for the photo of three, for the photo of. Three small cabins, one of them painted blue. It did not get caught. My caption is, I know, I know, it's a terrible color of blue, but my wife said, just get anything. It's better than nothing on bare wood. Uh, okay, photo five. Photo five is... Oh, okay. Oh, God. We're in a hay. We're in a lot of hay. There's a wagon in the hay. There's hay in the wagon. The wagon has pumpkins, a rooster on top of the hay, and a hawk flying close by, and pumpkins on the ground. Wow. Uh, roll, roll, roll in the hay. Dolly Ann Farm, uh, Animal Farm. Hey, rooster. Tax Haven, H-A-Y-V-E-N. Pumpkin on the bottom is missing its spice. Hey, hey. Oh, H-E-Y, H-A-Y. Jurassic Pumpkin. The previous picture's backyard. Someone hates this chicken. Hawk about to get his chicken for dinner. Hey, could you hand me some of that hay? Ouch, a pin. Oktoberfest. That rooster is a goner. Foghorn, leghorn, and the chicken hawk. Hawk is having chicken for dinner. Eagle says, love that chicken. Oh, look, lunch. My front door decorations. Roll in the hay with the pumpkins. Sunflowers don't grow in hay. Hey, hey, get off my wagon. And we'll end with Rentero. This photo has everything except the farmer in the dell. Uh, okay. George said, small cart with hay and pumpkins inside. My caption is, well, it's that time of the year to gather pumpkins for the kids to carve. Uh, okay, photo six of six is, oh, unfortunately, we're going to be seeing this soon. A wide shot of trees. In the forest with tons of leaves on the ground and fall colors on the remaining leaves. Okay. Fall in the forest. Well, you don't have to fall in the forest. The leaves are falling in the forest. Okay. Uh, leave me alone. Anybody got a rake? All right. One, two, three, drop. Get me my leaf blower. Time to rake the forest. Someone needs to rake the forest. Oh, another one. Who's going to rake all these leaves? I took the road less traveled to walk in the park. 
I'm going to make pumpkin pies until I explode. I'm lost. Okay, start raking. Time to crank up the leaf blower. Dick's reoccurring nightmare. I just finished raking up the leaves yesterday. Fall in the forest. Road to prediction. Uh, prediction. Prediction. Uh, someone get a vacuum. The trees need a hair club for men. Top Gun 5. I'll sweep them up, but I charge a dollar a leaf. Leaves are great if you don't rake. Anyone hear a tree fall? A lazy walk in the woods? Follow the orange leafed road? Uh, soon this will be on fire. And we'll end with Mandy the Clown. The road less traveled kind of sucks. Okay, George says, walking on a path full of fallen leaves. My caption is, I hope you like the color orange, because that's what most of these leaves are. And then and the second part of his new feature, fun facts about states. Oh, what is the state with the most coastline? What is the state with the most coastline? Wouldn't it be, well, I'm not going to say it, uh, Alaska, Florida, Alaska, Alaska, Maine, Florida, Nebraska, Alaska, Alaska, the frozen state. Alaska. Yeah, my uh, also said Hawaii. Wouldn't it be Hawaii? Isn't it like just a big island in the middle of, anyway. Uh, Minnesota has got tons of shoreline. State of flooding, Texas, Alaska. I'll ask you. <laughs> Could be Florida, says Mike B. Alaska has tons of little islands. Oh, that's interesting. Okaroo. Demos, I'm going with Michigan too. Nevada after the earthquake. Hawaii is 100% coastline. Oh, you're right, but it may not be the most by total length. That, yeah, that's good. Web 32. Um, big difference between measuring the coastline on a map versus a ruler. Pennsylvania, another Alaska. Burke, what's your guess? State with the most coastline. Wow. It's got to be Florida. Got to be Florida. Okay. George says, oh, chat. I, I think a lot of answers, a lot of right answers in the chat room. The answer is Alaska, which has 6,640 oh. miles of coastline. That's a lot. That's a lot. Wow. I didn't even know this existed. Name the only state that has a, a royal palace in it. Name the only state that has a royal palace. Hawaii. Wow, look at this chat room. Minnesota, the queen had a place there. <laughs> Hawaii. Washington, Louisiana, Florida, Alaska. Uh, Virginia. Burke, any idea? I don't. Um, not not a coherent, uh, factual one. But I think it is Hawaii. Oh. That makes a lot of sense, uh, actually. Uh, okay. Mrs. N. Poor says Florida. Uh, let me just see here. Uh, uh, um. Oh, whoa. Okay. Chat room. The only state that has a royal palace in it is Hawaii. Wow. 
the largest discovered silver nugget came from which state? The largest silver nugget came from which state? Hmm. Yeah, but my answer to <laughs> would be Nevada. And they found it under a... I think the uh, key word is silver. Oh. Okay. Oh, okay, a silver nugget. Okay. The largest discovered silver nugget came from which state? Uh, boy, a lot of Nevadas. Burke, any vague idea? I was going to say Nevada too, but I'm th I'm second guessing that if it's silver, because I don't th I don't know if there's a lot of silver in Nevada, but could be wrong. Uh, um, I have no idea. I'm going with Tiffany's. Uh, okay, uh, yeah, the largest answer. silver nugget <laughs> came from which state? Colorado. Oh yeah, I saw answers. Yeah, Lots look at people. Webster. Most of them were wrong though. Yeah, Ken Devil. Wow. Wow. Well, this is going to be hard to play for, but we'll try it. What did the silver nugget weigh? The largest silver nugget came from Nevada, uh, from Colorado. What did it weigh? Is it in pounds? It's in pounds. <laughs> uh, gold and silver in Nevada, just go to a pawn shop. No, we're doing pounds. 30 pounds. Wow. 300 pounds. I don't know, I'm thinking a silver nugget would be bigger than a gold nugget. I don't know why. I'm with you on that. Uh, but I don't even know how much a, a gold... I don't even know a, a gold bar weighs. We should play for that, actually. It weighs a um, lot. <laughs> Plenty. Uh, oh, okay. All right, chat room. Anything over 100 pounds is not a nugget. Well, then you're not going to consider this a nugget because the answer is the largest silver nugget weighed 1,800. What? 1,840 pounds. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> yeah. That's no, a I, I think that's a, that is a boulder. That's not a. I what, think they, what the? Wait, that can't be right. Yeah. 1,800? That's what it says. I think they drilled into a bank vault or something. Uh, maybe 1,800 um, grams. I don't Well, okay, what do I know? Yeah. No, that's a big, big chunk of silver. Yeah. Oh, uh, um, Oh. wow. No looking. What letter of the alphabet is not used in any state's name? What letter of the alphabet is not used in any state's name? Burke, got an answer? Uh, v? Oh, wait, no, that's wrong. Damn it. No, Virginia. <laughs> Z? Is there a Z state? Oh, is there a Z? I'm going with Z. Yeah. Um the um <laughs> Geek Wannabe is also going with Z. Which letter of the alphabet is not used in any state's name? The answer is Q, Sly One, Jamez. Lots of people got that one. Yeah, yeah, I know, but what state has a Z in it? Yeah. Oh, Arizona. What yeah, about an X? Thank you. How about X? New Mexico. Oh, drat. Duh. Duh. Oh, you are mentioned by name. George ends uh -oh. this email <laughs> with thanks, Burke, for all your help. Each week doing these photos. Great job. Uh, you're welcome, Chat room, George. you're always great. 
Thanks to Dick, who each week has to read your captions. <laughs> okay. See you soon. Thanks until we do this again. Bye, George. And George, thank you. Oh, my God. This is like a lot of work. Thanks, George. Yeah. Both think, both of your features are a large part of the Gizwiz show. Um, bum, bum. Okay. Dun, bum. We're on to doing assorted stuff. Uh, um, did we do what company uses all the sugar and twice the caffeine? No. Okay, we're doing it then. And I know the answer. You do? Oh, yeah. Oh, we, okay. All right. Well, then, yeah. All right, Burke, your answer is? It's Jolt Cola. Jolt Cola is correct. It tastes awful, but uh, it's got twice the caffeine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, dun -dun. Okay, let's do see what else we have here. I think we did that. So I cleaned up all the... Uh, questions all over my desk and got them all mixed up. So sorry about that. Um, who uses, I don't think anybody's going to get this. Who uses get in touch with all your senses. Get in touch. A <laughs> Burke, Lysol, get in touch with all your senses. Cocaine, AT and T, the sure shot vibrate. <laughs> Calgon, take me away. Incense, massage pollen. All I know about this place is that. I think they faced bankruptcy and I think they were able to pull themselves out. Um, you have any, any vague idea, Burke? Get in touch with all your senses. Uh, I don't. I was going to like, no. I was thinking Airwick or something stupid like that, but oh. I, mean, I think that's wrong. Uh, uh, chat room, I don't even know if this is a national brand. The answer is Pier One Imports. Oh, I love that place. Well, I did love oh, that place. Well. Oh, okay. I think, I, I think this. I think they're still around. They are but still around. Shrunk, though. shrunken down, or maybe repurchased. Um, repurchased. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, um, I'm throwing things we used in a cup. So wait, did you pick all the questions that were at the bottom of the pile, or is it just like? No, I just <laughs> messed the pile together and. <laughs> nice. Oh, even in here, I have a business card from. Donnie and Marie. Wow. He was in an audience. Um, I guess either Donnie or Marie was on Regis, and I did a gadget spot. It must have been Donnie. And he, the producer, said, Oh, you know, give me, uh, uh, I'll give you my card. It'd be fun if you remember they had a show, Donnie Marie show. He said, it'd be fun. Maybe we can work something into bringing stuff on the show. Yeah. Yes. Donnie Marie, the Osmonds. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, um, uh, there's a logo. Let's see if we did this. Oh, uh, what fiber is? The fabric of our lives. What fabric is wool, <laughs> polyester, hemp, lycra, spandex, bamboo, metamucil, Kevlar, oh my God, cotton, cotton acrylic blends, fiberglass, 
Do you know how bad fiberglass is on your skin? Uh, it's bad. Burke, what fiber builds itself? It's the fabric of our lives. It's cotton. Oh, you do know. Well, you said it like oh, you know yeah. it. It's cotton. Okay. Oh, it is. All right. All right. Um, uh, 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 okay. I used to have to climb around in uh, attics to install sound systems. So I know, believe me, I know oh. what fiberglass on skin is like. Yeah. Well, at least insulation. Yeah. Well, I did boat tests for years. <laughs> oh, and that's, that's the even worse, the, that big uh, fiber. <laughs> yeah. And they would send boats right from the factory because they wanted the latest model. And you'd go up into the bow and the bow hadn't really... Right, Set or like yet. under the yeah. lip on the inside. Yes. Ugh. Oh, my God. First of all, you get high just from the smell, but fiberglass fibers are not good. Um, what deodorant has a jolly pitch man saying, hi, guy? I don't remember this at all. What deodorant commercial has a jolly pitch man saying, hi, guy? Mm -mm. <laughs> raid ban Ch do you use cheerios under your arm brute rota ruta axe right god napalm arid old spot wow i think one two people have it any idea burke TV yeah. commercial. Oh, yeah. It's totally made in Santa Cruz. It's like granola brand uh, deodorant. <laughs> I don't know. Not quite. Okay. It is indeed. Two people have it. And any more? No, no, no. All right. The deodorant. The feature is a jolly pitchman who says, Hi, guy, is. Oh, Bill in Michigan got it. Right, God, he was the man in the mirror. Wow. I don't remember wow. that. That's like No, maybe you could find that commercial. Um What uh cereal brand has a man on the label who resembles a member of the Society of Friends? What cereal brand has a man on the label? who resembles a member of the Society of Friends. Quaker Oats, Count Chocula, Count Dracula, Grape Nuts, Frosted Flakes, <laughs> Perry Como Oats. <laughs> How you doing, Loops? Oh, my God. Quaker Oats, Captain Crunch. Holy rolled oats. <laughs> Rape gravel. Oh, my God. Burke, any idea? Brand with packaging that has a man resembling a member of the Society of Friends. I have no idea. But I do have that commercial when you're ready. Oh, okay. Uh, the answer to this one is, a lot of you have it. Quaker Oats. Logan 5 is the last one up there who has it. Man did a clan says Quaker State. No, not quite. Um, okay. We were talking about right God, right? And um, right. Mike said, the man in the mirror, let's, Burke found it. Let's see that commercial. Who are you? Oh, how you doing, guy? And uh, your neighbors. Oh, didn't they tell you we share the same medicine cabinet? <laughs> it's a new modern apartment. Hey, I we see did. you got silver it's right, guys. New antiperspirant. Uh, yes, sir. Stop so to keep you dry. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. I know all about that. I got the regular right, guys. Yep, one shot. I'm good for the whole day. Two kinds of people. And who is right that? Guard. Who is the man oh, no. in the mirror? Anybody know who that actor is?
Hey, I do want to mention a guy died named. <laughs> Whoops. It is indeed. Anybody else know? Someone, yeah. Did you know who the guy in the mirror was? No. Burke? No idea. Uh, it was indeed just one person. Oh, there we go. It is, yes, Chuck McCann. Chuck McCann he used to be on a local I channel. I recognize his uh, face, but I don't know. Definitely didn't know his 11, name. Uh, oh, you know, just uh, so the chat room knows what they look like. Can you get us a photo of the spotted lanternfly? I talked about this on Twit. The city, okay, parts of the city, including the Upper West Side and Riverside Park. As a new plague, the spotted lanternfly. Yes, they and my neighbor called and said, "I several fell in my yard. I think they might be coming from a tree in your backyard." And yeah, we found some out there. They are disgusting, and yes, they can jump eight to ten feet. And when you spray them, we I it? sprayed it with raid. Yep, that's it. Yeah, it looks you like spray a big them with fly. raid. They jump fast and high. And we Whoa. sprayed a wow. bunch of them. They look we, tough. We too. couldn't. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we we killed a bunch of them, and then we were walking down the street and. Then I said, what the heck is this? And he reached back, and on his neck was the one we couldn't find who flew out of the tree and ugh. landed on Dennis's neck. <laughs> yeah. Look at the ugh. Ugh. And, and so reading about them, which is encouraging, they do not bite. Okay, good. Okay. Yeah, kind of nasty. I, I don't no, think exactly. I'd want that. That's big. Right. However, they swarm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and you're right. You, you really the the best way is to uh, hit them with a hammer if you can. They urinate a lot. Um, no, it said that you can get a rash from yeah. There's crap falling out of the tree. I guess they're urinating. Um, they, they don't bite, and they don't sting. And I don't think they harm the tree, but they eat crops. Um, so I don't know. I, I guess they're going to eat the ivy in the yard or something. But yeah, it's really yeah, spotted lantern flies. I mean, it's uh, what is happening with, with the? I think Mother Nature has just said, "Screw them, flood the place, give them flies." What do I care? I'm done. Um, all right. Uh, let's, oh, let's see. There's a fact of crap. Let's see. We put him on a oh, Jesus. Um, or, oh, you know, let me see. Oh, we get it. Wow. Time went fast. We'll do our, let me get my Al Jaffe thing. All right. So the most expensive hamburger is stupid. We we did a most expensive hamburger. This was the most expensive hamburger at a fast food place, but there's no explanation of what it. Here's the whole thing. I'll read you the the most expensive hamburger ever at a fast food place was a limited edition hamburger called the Burger in quotes served at Burger King in London, United Kingdom, that sold for $186. But it doesn't say, like, why? And did they sell more than one? But what I do like is that there was a little fact at the bottom of this card, uh, which we can play for. In 1948, a hamburger at the very first McDonald's restaurant cost how much? 1948, a hamburger at the first McDonald's restaurant cost how much? Now, people shouldn't be too far off with this. Um, uh, I'm going to say... 
Oh, well, I'm right in between. People are going five cents, 15 cents. Excuse me. I'm at the 10 cent mark. Oh, okay. This MOVA is 10 cents, five cents, 25 cents. Burke, first McDonald's burger in 1948 was how much? I was also going for 10 cents. 10 cents, okay. In 1948, a hamburger at the first McDonald's restaurant cost 15 cents. Oh, I saw a lot uh, of those, though. Yeah. Uh, 15. Well, right. 15. That's still a good price. Which we brings us to um, Al Jaffe's snappy answers to stupid questions. Two explorers. <laughs> Two explorers slowly sinking in something, and one is saying, is it quicksand? And the other one's snappy answer is, you make it up. Two explorers sinking in quicksand, and one says to the other, is it quicksand? And your snappy answer is... I think this is where John goes. How quicksand it is it? I <laughs> know that's the match game. Um, it's not. No, it's not. It's slow sand. It's slow mud. It's slow mud. It's oatmeal, and it tastes delicious. Oh, that's funny. Uh, yes, don't drop and roll. Oh, I no, it's answer. slow death. No, it's very dense water. No, it's slow, but we're doomed. Uh, no, it'll take us hours to die. It's slow dirt. It's a quick manhole, a wormhole. No, it's a new spa experience. Uh, no, slow sand. No, it's quick manure. No, we're mud wrestling. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I don't know. I can't see my watch. It's slow sand. Uh, it's just runny oatmeal that got out of hand. No, it's Play-Doh. Just squeeze it. No, it's my new hot tub. No, it's rather slow sand at this point. Uh, okay. No, but you're a quick learner. Oh, that's good. All right, so a lot of you match Al Jaffe. Um, no, it's slow sand. What you hurry? A lot of people said that. No, we have a rare tropical disease that make <laughs> that's making us grow shorter. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> no, it's vanilla custard. Oh. And I can hardly wait till it reaches my mouth. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. Al Jaffe. All right, we're going to do match game. You want to call? Uh, I will Alex? call him. Uh, I'll let me get Dennis. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. The magic. That's the magic call. And let me. All right. Um. Oh boy, that was quick. Uh. Okay. Oh, Dicky D. What would you say if I could share a link to the very first right now? Okay. Do that. All right. So, chat room, we're going to do a poll. And so, no, let the, come on in. Let, yeah. Um, <laughs> Paging Jolly. Uh, so, N4 is going to put a link up. So, go to this link and answer these 10 questions. This will be great. Okay. Yeah. Redacted said N4. You rock. Oh, this is great. Chat room, go to that poll and answer those questions. And then N4B, next week, if you can email me the poll questions and answers, we can play for them. This will be great. And put your real name down there so I can thank you properly. Uh, gizwizbiz at gmail is good. This is great. Oh, that's good. He picked 10 of the 10 questions at random. Uh, this is super. So chat room, please go to that link and answer those, those poll questions. 
Uh, okay. These are, this is from actually a, a script from Match Game PM. And these are the PM extras questions in case they go into overtime. <sighs> Very politically incorrect. Tonto say prairie can be dangerous place. Me leap straight in air when Tonto sit on blank. Tonto say prairie can be dangerous place. Me leap into air. Did you get your paper? Oh, and a pen. Okay. Tonto say me leap in air. When Tonto sit on blank. Actually, this should be easy. Oh, very good. Thinking music. Very good. Uh, I'm going to look up now because I wrote my answer. I should have tons of matches. Wow, I got some matches. Okay. Uh, okay. Is Alex with us? No, Alex. No, Alex. Oh, you know what? I believe Alex said he was going to be away for two to three. Oh, you know what? I think Alex is, isn't Alex doing something with John? He might be. I know he was last weekend, so they might be going to another show uh, this week. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Makes, makes so no, uh, a lot of sense. So no, a lot of sense. Okay. Uh, okay, then, Burke, we'll start with you. Tonto say Prairie can be dangerous place. Mm, uh, Tonto leaves straight in air when me sit on blank. Arrow. And you said... Arrow. What? arrow. Oh, oh, me sit on arrow. That's very funny. But I don't think you got any matches. <laughs> no, I didn't. Uh, <clears throat> give yourself a... There you go. Uh, I, on the other hand, said, when me sit on cactus. Oh, yeah. A lot of those. Geek wannabe, toad sloth. And Dennis said... Oh, me just... Uh, no matches. Me jump in air when me sit on Lone Ranger. <laughs> um, okay, very good. Uh, um, you know what? I can't believe that they had this on the list of, at, of the air show, but we'll play it anyway. Stephanie said, my husband has been... Dating, I think my husband had secretly been dating a very short woman. Last night he came home with lipstick on his blank. <laughs> Stephanie said, I think my husband has been secretly dating a very short woman. Last night he came home with lipstick on his blank. All right. I will... Oh, this is going to be very interesting. Uh, knees, jockey shorts, kneecap. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, okay, I got some matches. Belly button, tummy, okay. Underpants. Um, all right, Dennis, we're going to start with you. Stephanie said, I think my husband has been dating a very short woman. Last night he came home with lipstick on his, oh, on his shins. Hmm. Mm, no, I don't think so. Um, I got a couple of matches. He came home and with lipstick on his belt <laughs> buckle. You did. And Burke, you said he came home with lipstick on his collar. That's not a very short woman. Oh, well, yeah. Good point. I missed that. Uh, okay. Uh, mm -mm. Um, wow, these are really wild questions. At the fire, the fire chief yelled, turn off the water. Fireman Freddy has the hose nozzle, nozzle stuck in his blank. <laughs> At the fire, the fire chief yelled, hey, turn off the water. Fireman Freddy has the fire hose stuck in his blank. Um, um, all right, I'm just going to go. Um, 
not going to put down what wouldn't make air. Okay. Oh, okay. Stuck in his bum. Wow. In his mouth, in his sleeve, in his fuel filter, filler, in his truck, in his paper cup, in his boot. Man, he said pants is the only answer. In his boot, donkey, pants, belt buckle, shirt, Dalmatian. Uh, okay, Burke, we're going to start with you. At the fire, the fire chief yelled, turn off the water. Fireman Freddy has the fire hose stuck in his blank. Oh, Pants, you got a lot of matches. Uh, I got at least two matches. Fireman Freddy has the hose stuck in his mouth. No ding for that. Thank you. All right, Dennis is still writing. All right, this is going to be a winner, I think. Oh, stuck in his ear. Oh, and Eric Duckman just said ear. Um, I think I told you the, you know, when you wrote Match Game, uh, especially Match Game PM, where it was on ABC and it was in the nighttime show. And we were told that the questions could be a little edgier than. Well, what you would do is write some out and out filth so that when the senses read the stuff, they would go, what? Is and then they'd read something else and it wouldn't seem so bad. Uh, so one of the ones I sent as a joke got on the air. Um, oh, well, we'll play it. Okay, we'll play this question. Unlucky Louie was so unlucky Hey, uh, Dick, how unlucky was he? Unlucky Louie was so unlucky when he went on a diet, he lost two inches, but he didn't lose it from his waist. He lost it from his blank. Unlucky Louie was so unlucky when he went on a diet, he lost two inches, but he didn't lose it from his waist. He lost it from his blank. No, there are answers here. <laughs> but it did get a big laugh. Um, nose, pinky toe, wallet, height, uh, salad bar, butt, brain, upper lip, dignity, wallet, height. Uh... Hat size, neighbor's waist, psych, his little Louie, his mustache. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay, we'll start with me. I do have some matches. Unlucky Louie is so unlucky. When he went on a diet, he lost two inches, but he didn't lose it from his, his waist. He lost it from his height. Thank you. Dennis said, unlucky Louie lost it. Where's Charlie? Lost it from his, oh, he said the unforgivable middle leg, but got some matches. And Burke said he lost it from his man parts. Okay, you can match that. Um, all right, we'll do one more and then it will be Charlie time. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Um. <laughs> so there's another quick, these questions are just bizarre today. Tarzan, Tarzan say, never should let Cheetah join Boy Scout. Cheetah tie Char Tarzan's blank in a knot. <laughs> Tarzan say, never should have let Cheetah join Boy Scouts. Cheetah just tied Tarzan's blank in a knot. <laughs> There's a way around this. There's something you can say. There's something you can say and get away with it. I never realized we... It's such racy stuff. Uh, dreadlocks. There you go. Hair, hair. There you go. Intestines, ponytail, loincloth. 
uh, pubic hair, earlobes, nostril, nostril hair, swinging vine, vine's a great question, hair, mustache, <laughs> Morgus, external protuberance. Nice elephant wording, trunk. Sir. Oh, that's funny. Elephant trunk. Um, okay, Burke, we're going to start with you. Tarzan say, never should have let Cheetah join Boy Scouts. Cheetah tie Tarzan's blank in a knot. Socks. Mm. Uh, okay, I got some matches. Tie Tarzan's hair in knot. And Dennis said, Uh, Tarzan's life in not. Uh, okay. All right, ladies, where's Charlie? Charlie. Charlie, what is going on? Where's your timing? What did. Come Char on, Charlie. Char what's up? I know. Oh, did you forget to bring Charlie in? I guess he did. <gasps> All right. Well, okay. Well, I guess know. Maybe we another question. Uh, well, you know what? Uh, N four. Post that uh, link one more time, would you? Okay. Uh, so, chat room. Please go there and fill out this poll. And next week, wow, thirty four people went there already. This is excellent chat room. Let's see if we can at least get to fifty, because then it sounds like a real poll. Okay, go to that link, Survey Monkey, and that link. I completed the poll. This is super. This is really great. Um, if we can hit 50 people, that will be great. I'll do it, and I'll get Dennis to do it. Burke will do it. Um, all right, Charlie Someone needs there. to email me the link, because I... Oh, gone, yeah, I'm yeah. Sure. You know, someone, someone email me the link, too, okay? And then forward it to me, Dick. Uh, yeah. A, 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 okay. Or and for somebody can send it to Burke at twit.tv. Oh yeah. Burke at twit.tv. And also, you know, I wonder if I have Dick at twit.tv. I may have, but I don't know. Oh, it's easy. It gives with biz at Gmail. Gives with biz at Gmail. Charlie, what's going on? Charlie. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for, oh my God. Wait, maybe he needs to oh, hear his music. God. He just, he just heard it. He just, whoa. Whoa, okay, Charlie. Ta -da. Okay, Charlie. Oh, one minute, Charlie. Okay, hang on, Charlie. Okay, can you do it? Oh, Charlie. Oh, okay. Okay, you want to come up here? Hang on. But, oh, I have to stand up, Charlie. Okay. Okay, now we can see you, Charlie. I know. I have a very bad grip on you, Charlie. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I have a very good grip. It's a supportive yeah. grip. Uh, yeah, I know that my my picking you up is very bad, Charlie. I'll put you down. Hang on. And you also got your have your foot in my shirt. Oh. <clears throat> well, I picked him up. His paw went in my shirt. So, <laughs> so Wags is a lot struck again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, do that poll. This is great. Uh, you have been watching regular old-fashioned giz fizz the hop ladies leave oh it's a little late okay okay i thought they had gone home okay um regular old-fashioned giz fizz is a mark goodson bill todman dick d bartolo dennis wonderlin charlie the dog bargain basement burke Beatmaster, uh, Alex Gumpel, Mandy the Clown, Beatmaster again, Tech Dino, Mandy the Clown, Super Roo, ZX, Magoo, Caesar, Loke, Becky, Morgus, Bill in Michigan, James, uh, I'm getting these all messed up, Loquacious, Adam24, Redacted, Mrs. D, Miss D, isn't that new? Uh, Dale Paco, Dwindle, Roger, Johnny Monday, and Geek Wannabe, and Okaroo. Remember, it's brought to you by Turtle Wax. It's not just for turtles anymore. See you on Giz Whiz Thursday. 
and back here Saturday for Leo. And then Giz Fizz with an audience poll that we will try to uh, play for. I think it's going to be great. Okay, bye. Bye. Thanks, Burke. Thanks, everybody. Um, this is uh, great. You will have a week off, a break from me, which I'm sure you'll be happy with. John will be back next week. But then oh, okay. the two weeks after that, it's me again. Sorry. Oh, no, you're doing a great job. Okay. Well, you know. Um, I no, no, it's super. <laughs> All right. So John next week and then Burke for two weeks after that. This is good. Bye. Okay. Bye, everybody. Bye. Take care. Okay. See you Thursday for Giz Wiz.